between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. Continue watching to find out more. Warmest greetings, beloved viewers. My name is Isabella from Massachusetts in the United States, a nation of beauty, diversity, opportunity, and hope. In today's show, we'll present the extraordinary vegan lifestyle coach, Lenny Murath, MA, an award-winning health educator, professor, author, inspirational speaker, and TV host. Up to date, Lanny has three books published, Fit Quickies, The Plant-Based Journey, and The Mindful Vegan. These three books have recorded Lanny's growth and contribution in food, fitness, and mind, the three pillars of resilient living defined by Lanny. What's amazing is that each of her books was a great success. The story started more than 40 years ago. It was the 70s before the term plant-based even existed. Lenny was a vegetarian when she started studying yoga in high school. Following the philosophy of yoga, the vegetarian diet is ahimsa, non-violence toward all living things. As her life unfolded, she went to college, started teaching, got involved in fitness and health, and then got advanced degrees in physical education and kinesiology. Lenny has extensive interaction with people via her teaching and fitness classes and knew well about the struggles to adopt a plant-based diet. Through the people she coached, she conducted over 1,200 surveys on the aspirations and challenges people had during the process. She expected the research would allow her to better understand each stage of the transitioning process so she could give practical help. The research suggested that there are five universal steps for people who are successful in their diet transitioning. The definition of success is no jumping back and forth within three to five years or more. To witness the process, Lenny turned herself into a vegan successfully and also gained certifications in the plant-based nutrition from Cornell University. She put all this knowledge into her book, The Plant-Based Journey. The Plant-Based Journey became the first and the most user-friendly how-to book for people who want to take a plant-based journey. It was such a big hit that it was number one in the vegetarian section on Amazon for one month and has already been translated into Russian and is in its fourth printing. Lenny received overwhelming feedback, especially from doctors and dietitians, who were very excited about the book and told Lenny that they put it in the patient's waiting rooms. The Plant-Based Journey book helped Lanny to outgrow her fitness teaching. She started working as a vegan lifestyle coach, and just like Dr. Neil Bernard and Dr. Colin Campbell, she advocates the vegan diet and has served as presenter and consultant for the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, also known as PCRM, the Complete Health Improvement Project, and Plant Pure Nation. But Lenny noticed that providing a meal plan and following the process stepwise was not enough to stop some negative behavior patterns, such as overeating, mindless eating, and compulsive eating during the diet transitioning, for which her experiences in yoga came in useful. On the yoga path, Lenny practiced mindfulness meditation for more than 25 years. She spent time with many famous teachers in mindfulness meditation, such as S. N. Goenka, Jack Kornfield, Sharon Salzberg, Joseph Goldstein, and Diana Winston. Lanny herself is certified in mindfulness meditation instruction, and so she began to introduce people to the mindfulness technique and how to leverage it into everything they do during the day. In order to provide more complete services, Lanny strengthened herself as an authorized mind-body specialist and a behavior change specialist. Well, it is time to stretch a little. Let's do some exercise by following the instructions in Lanny's Fit Quickies book. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television.
Welcome back. We'll continue the next stage development of Lanny's The Mindful Vegan book. The first chapter, titled Freedom, starts with Viktor Frankl's quote, Between stimulus and response, there's a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. Lenny explained, Most of our lives are very fragmented. The research tells us that half of the time we are spent in mind-wandering state. In other words, any moment during the day, it's a good 50-50% chance that your mind is either reflecting back on the past, rehashing something, coulda, woulda, shoulda, only if I said this or that. And the other half of the time, you're projecting into the future, what if catastrophizing. And what happens is this, this creates a kind of a... Our, our minds just keep going willy-nilly without any control on our part. So mindfulness practice gives us some degree of mastery over these habits of thinking of jumping back and jumping forward. And the research tells us that if we spend too much time in mind-wandering states, we hook up with neural activity in the brain that leads to sadness, depression, obsessions, cravings. So by getting some degree of mindfulness, we get to unheap all this busyness from our lives and our mental activity and connect with our true nature with compassion and love and kindness and equanimity. According to Lenny, the practice of mindfulness doesn't use willpower. One learns to navigate what's going on inside just through the sensations in one's body that everyone has access to. Mindful eating means being connected to the natural hunger and fullness signals. It does not only mean stopping when you're done or when you are full, but it also means being tuned into when your body needs fuel. Mindful eating means mindfulness of hunger and fullness. It means mindfulness of the impact of our food on our health, on the animals, on the environment, and on everything. Most people have read a mindfulness book, or they'll see them in the bookstore. But before this book, before The Mindful Vegan, not a one of them connected following a vegan nutrition plan with mindfulness. And to me, this is the heart of mindful eating, isn't it? What is on your plate? Who is on your plate, if it is a who? How does what you eat impact the environment with the other sentient beings that we share the planet with and your health? So when you connect all those together, you restore your natural sense of compassion with the earth, with other beings, and with yourself, and it restores a sense of well-being in a holistic way. In The Mindful Vegan, Lanny provides a 30-day plan for mindfulness practice. The program starts with a one-minute meditation on the first day, then gradually increases to 30 minutes. The meditation will bring attention and focus on breath and bodily sensations, allowing the practitioner to be more aware of their thoughts and make more mindful decisions about their eating habits. Of course, the mindful technique can also be used to manage stress anxiety disorders, smoking, to any kind of addiction. Lanny emphasized that the mindful tool is the key for herself to bring success in food and exercise. First is, of course, move um, with the food is to incorporate more whole plant foods in your diet. Next is to move every day. Most people think exercise is because it gives us a stronger body or burns calories, but actually moving your body helps with your brain, it helps you build new habits. And as far as the mindfulness piece is, there are many ways to awakening. There are many ways to bring yourself more into the present moment so that we're not lost in all these distractions that create so much human misery. Mindfulness practice has done that for me. It's brought me, it given me a, a way to navigate life's challenges and ups and downs with more equanimity so that um, I'm not living in as a reactive state and it's a wonderful way to live. Do you know what the background that really is most impactful is that the mindfulness piece or getting some degree of mastery over my habits of thinking allowed all the other pieces to come together so that I was able to implement fitness and nutrition successfully. Similar to the plant-based journey, the Mindful Vegan was very well received by the public and also became the number one Amazon bestseller. 
What a shining performance of these three books and of Lenny's life development. Oh, we forgot to tell you that Lenny's first book, Fit Quickies, has been adopted as the required text by Kinesiology Department at Butte College, where Lenny is an associate faculty. With multiple teaching credentials and a special talent for helping people, Lenny received the California Golden Apple Award for Excellence in Instruction. Her energetic input and enthusiasm for the vegan lifestyle brought her 29 speeches, conferences, and engagements from the end of 2015 through 2017. And her 2018 calendar is already fully booked with events. We are so thankful to you, Lenny Miraf, for being such a positive influence in the world. May heaven bless you many fold for the animals you save and the people you help. For more information, please visit LennyMuraf.com. Happy viewers! Thank you for spending time with us today to get acquainted with the extraordinary vegan lifestyle coach, Lenny Miraf, MA. Coming up next is Use Less Resources and Simplify Life, Part 3 of 3, on Between Master and Disciples right after noteworthy news. May your day be filled with blessings and joy. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash V-E-G.